So in this video, you have probably heard, I need a precision straight edge for my shop. So you go out and get one. But guess what? I'm gonna show you why you need a precision straight edge. Stay tuned, baby. So I've had a lot of precision straight edges over the years. And recently I just acquired this one from UJK. You'll see the link in the comment section or the description. And I needed it because of this new slab desk I'm making. I've had this for a few years. It gained a little bow and a little cup. This is the bottom of it. I'll be releasing a video soon on it. But what I'm doing is I'm starting to flatten and I, I'm using a couple hand tools. I'm not making it a flattening jig. I'm not taking it to my buddy CNC. I'm gonna show Big D how to flatten a slab or take out little nuances in the slab. So as this is the bottom, my um, standing desk frame will sit perfectly flush on here. So when I use a straight edge, the important thing for me is finding out if there's a bow or a cup and then making sure I can concentrate it with my scrub plane and my smoother to get out that little uh, bow. So come down here, Chris, so we can see this. And when I have a straight edge, I'm gonna, this is just one of the things I use a straight edge for. I'm gonna take it here. Now if I look right here, look, look, look. See how it's, there's no daylight in there? Yeah, but I come over here, Chris, see this? Okay, see how there's daylight in there? And that's probably about a, I'd say a little over, 3 16 but I'm gonna bring it here until I start to see daylight here and I bring it right here. So I know there's a there's a, a bow in this board. So what I'll do is I have daylight, daylight, and I bring it around and I start doing this, look. So guess where my bow is? And I, I'll concentrate right here and right here and I'll take that down the board. And that's what I use a straight edge the majority of the time. So one of the applications I use a precision straight edge quite often, is to check my MFT3 tops. It sounds funny, but this is on the MDF, okay? Humidity sometimes may cause it to dip, especially if you're constantly cutting into your top. You'll see I've cut in here. Um, this one should be good. I've had it for quite a few years here at the Sedge Tool Shop, but what I do is I, I set my straight edge on a variety of ways like this, but let's check it this way, diagonal. And I'm just gonna take it out and I grab a piece of paper and you see that right there, right there? Okay, but it's flat to flat or end to end, but I wanna check it in the middle to see if I have any dipping and I'll go like this. Oh my God, it's so slight right there. That's, I've seen it where that's easy. That's pretty much dead flat. I have seen them where I've cut into them so much that over time you have a slight dip and that's when you replace it. So a typical application of a persistent straight edge is to check for flatness on your machinery in your shop. So one of the things I talk to people about all the time is the capex. If they're getting a miscut, I go, did you check your fence? And when I talk about the fence, I'm not talking about these top pieces here. I'm talking about these small pieces right here. See from here below. Well, the first thing I'll do is I'll clean out here to see if there is any debris and then I'll bring my straight edge in. And so what a straight edge allows you to do, it allows you to take your eyes out of the mix, okay? I'm gonna take that piece of paper, my feeler gauge, and I'm gonna check here. See how that's perfect, perfect? But where you wanna check it is right in here. See that, that's still dead on. That is perfectly straight. That's gonna give me an accurate cut. So a precision straight edge is vital in your shop. So another killer application is for setting up router tables for a precision straight edge. Come in here, cameraman. I'm gonna take my precision straight edge and I'm going to check, just like I checked the Capex fence. I'm gonna check to see if it's perfectly in line, and it is. So that's the first one. So the next application for the straight edge on a router table is check this out. What I'm gonna do is I have this flush trim bit. I'm not gonna use it as a flush trim bit. I have it set up and I got a bearing here and here. But I want this to be perfectly in line with my fences because I'm gonna use it in a different application. 
So I bring it in and I check to see if my bearing is rotated. Actually, I'm going to use the thinner edge here so I can get it set up just right. Can you see how that bearing's moving? Now I can lock it in. So the other application I'm going to show you is a correction on the original video. Two folks called me out in the very beginning of the original release of this video. And I want to make sure you all understand this. Sometimes when you're working in woodworking, you get complacent. And don't get complacent. You always got to understand the flow of the material. So in a former video, I showed you this, which is how, it, how the router works. In other words, it goes this way. But with a router table, it's upside down, so it goes this way. That's why I make an arrow on my router table. So I am going to set this up with the straight edge to use it as a joint. So I want you to see this. See how it flows perfectly? And as you see this, come in here, cameraman, it's even here and here. And I showed you how to set that up earlier. But what I want to show you is I want to set this up as a joiner. So I have to, this is my in feed, this is my out feed like a joiner because that's my arrow, that's my flow with a router table. I want to show you how it works. So what I want to do is I want to offset this to compensate for this out feed. So I have to set this back ever so slightly. So on all router tables you can, well not all of them, but with this one and other tables you can offset your in-feed table. So I'm going to loosen this button here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it back ever so slightly. So let's look at this. See this right here? That is my depth of cut right there. I'm going to do a little bit more so you can see this and I'm going to lock it in. So when I'm running a board through this and come in here cameraman, as I'm running this you're going to see where this stops. But as I cut it, what will happen is my pressure will be against here, just like a jointer. And you have your in feed and out feed. So what will happen is as I cut it, it will offset. That's my depth of cut. This is a full face cut. Now I will be able to put, bring it like this as I'm cutting. And what will happen is I will reduce at the end of this area what is known as snipe. So as you can see, a precision straight edge in your shop is vital. Make sure you get one that's straight. I always verify this one's beautiful. It's got a metric scale on it. I always rub my finger along the straight edges because you never know. It may have gotten dinged and that will throw you off. Um, you can see all the different applications for Precision Straight Edge. This is one that I got from UJK. You can see the link at the TSO products in our description. Um, I think it is a killer value. It's around $45, $46 worth every daggone penny. So check it out. Hey, link it in the description. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for tuning in to another video on the Sedge Tool channel. And I'm going to say it all together. Be positive, stay sharp, and hey, make sure you're wicked sharp.